Hey guys, and welcome back to Cold Fear. When we last left off, we were about to enter the, uh, was it the rear deck cabin or some shit? Which is quite good. Can't say. Can't say. Stravutia, speak English. It doesn't matter now. What's going on here, Colonel? A terrible mistake. Find Anna. She has answers. Where is she? Locked up for protection. After that idiot, Captain Lubensky, hid in the cold storage. Now here, take this experimental. The bolts are chemically treated to distract them. It may save your life. Oh my. Hey, fella. Right. So, chemically distract them, you say? I guess not all of these guys are bad. Wait, did we, uh, do we have it? No, even though we clearly picked it up, um, we don't have it in inventory. So yeah, as I was saying, yes, yeah, so we finally caught up with someone who actually knows what's going on around here, which is good. Okay, so find Anna, health pack, that was quite nice. The Subop's journal. Let's have a look at Supov's journal then, shall we? Supov's diary. Code for the rear deck starboard door. Code for the armored door. Oh, that's Anna. Right, so we have some uh, information here. Good. I often wondered what really convinced Kamsky to work for me. The well-known, uh, the well-being of his beloved daughter. Or first Four quality shots of the Exocell I showed him. I recall his first encounter with his with this strange creature. He seemed both horrified and fascinated. However, when one was turned loose on a caged dog, it was his fascination that clearly got the upper hand. He immediately recognized the Exocell's tremendous potential, but ever the cunning negotiator claimed he had no longer had the intellectual or physical resources to accept such an undertaking. He who had given so much to an army he persisted in referring to as Soviet. However, when mentioned the amount of funding my partners were prepared to grant, I sensed he was not so weary. When I added that his daughter was already on her way to join him uh, on the Star of Sarkalin, that was the end of it. He immediately agreed to stay on the platform and supervise the installation and research. As I had expected, Kamsky quickly assured me that the XSL had military potential. But he feared it was uncontrollable. With, uh... Black Harv's help? Black Harev? Help. I was initially very wary when the cartel imposed him on me. But he soon turned out to be a valuable asset. His first task was to develop an antidote. Protecting yourself from your own weapons is an old, <laughs> often life-saving instinct. Alright. The first strains were met with failure, but one of them produced unexpected results. The monsters were drawn to the gases given off. Uh, Balaclava, that's his name now, Balaclava, was the one who built the first prototype of the compressed air spear gun. Obviously the effect of, uh, on the creatures is limited. Only those within a radius of less than 20 meters from the spear are attracted and the effect is temporary. But the results are promising. I shall make the most of our last little trip to present the latest version to the cartel. Given the latest advances, production of these devices would seem quite feasible. I hope that unlike the last consignment. The specimens will be ready and in good condition. Kamsky has been uh, insistent about this. When I think that barely nine months ago he was unwilling to experiment on humans. That Anna has all the fury of a real Russian woman. In fact, I've been forced to lock her up in one of the holds on the main deck. Okay, so I guess we can go save her now. Which is a thing that we can do for sure. Uh, so now we've got this. I mean, this is a spear gun that attracts them. Let's see what this spear gun can do. Yeah, I'm not convinced. Like, 
how practically useless uh, or practically useful this spear gun actually is because I mean these things aren't exactly much of a problem so far Oh god, that was bad. Uh, we're stuck. Good, good, we're stuck. Ooh. Oh Christ, I was going to say, I can't quite see what the hell's going on here. Right, his head's gone. Let's move. Before we get cornered. Yep, gun was misfiring there. Or, well, you know, not firing at all, I should say. Pistol ammo, nice. Yeah, very reluctant to use the dark gun. Because I don't really know what the dark gun is about. Or how useful it actually is. I'm going to guess that it's probably pretty fucking useful. Right. Okay. Have we been in there before? I don't know if we have, you know. Oh shit. Yep. Ow. Pain. 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 Oh, I don't think we can... Oh, it's unlocked. Uh, what? What is this? Oh, this is Resident Evil 4 shit right here. Yep. We, I mean, we kind of knew that that's what was going on here. I find it, you know, let's see how good melee is. Well, you know, if melee would actually work. Right, that'd do. Okay. Melee might be good. If it would work, why is it not working? Alright, melee's not work. Neither's the aim button now. Great. Oh, God, this game. I like it when I can't see what I'm doing. If the controls would work for five seconds. Oh! That thing, like, comes back out. That's interesting. Why is... Why are the controls... Why are you shooting your oh, gun? Why do the controls only work sometimes? That's so frustrating. We're almost dead now. Just because the buttons would not work. Alright, I didn't realise we had the code to that room anyway. Do we have the code to this one? I've got to find that no. Code. So where does this lead then? Let's have a little fiddle. Oh, I can't believe that. I don't believe this. Ah, oh, let's reload. Yeah, the re reload is not working now. Unless that means we have six bullets and only six bullets left. And not six bullets in the gun and six in reserve. Who knows with this game. It seems to make it up as it goes along. Where the hell are we now? Engine room. Uh, there's a med kit. I like med kits. Right, yeah. So that means we have 13 bullets in total. Not 13 bullets. So E is melee. But only like when the game wants it to be. Which is pretty weird. So we've got an electronic door lock there. We have an explosive... Ooh. Oh man, look at all these flames. Ammo for the AK, yeah. Like, I get the feeling we're not really meant to be here yet. If I just, like, wandered into the wrong area? Pump control room? 
Should I be saving Anna and then coming here? Rear deck. I don't know, guys. Anybody home? Propeller shaft room. There's a lot of these electronic boxes here. Come on, there we go. Oh, that's spicy. Let's just hit that and see what happens. Oh, God, that solved our problem. Say, well, I mean, it's dead. Is it dead though? Here's the electronic key. Okay, we have a key for a room that, I, that we didn't know we needed. So that's the thing that we now have. And we can shoot these open for whatever good that does. This looks like the wrong way. Right. What does that say? Starboard cold rooms. Cool. Uh, right, let's go save Anna because, like, we know if we go the right way, the game gives us save points, which is good. Mm, haven't tried that door yet. Uh, we haven't tried. We haven't tried that. Oh. Yes. So. Is saving Anna optional? Right. Well, it looks like we've got a new weapon. Ah, yes, the good old shotgun. Dude. Dude, seriously. Had about enough of your bullshit. Can we? Thank you. Pistol ammo. Pistol ammo is generally a good thing. Oh, hey, sir. Kind of want to try the shotgun. Something is making... Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, don't do that. Don't. Do... How do I make it stop doing that? How do I make it stop shooting? Oh, my God. Oh, why? It's only the um, assault rifle that does that. Only the assault rifle that just goes mental. Okay. This is a very frustrating playthrough. And it doesn't have to be. I don't know why. Right, we've got some weird chemicals over here. I don't know why the game is just being so odd. Let's try the shotgun. Hopefully the shotgun isn't a strange weapon that will just void all of our ammo. But I guess we're about to find out. Very frustrating. Yeah. Okay. With Oh, nice. With the shotgun, we don't have a laser sight, but that's fine. We can handle that. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. Well, not the shotgun. I like the fact that we can blast those into the ooze. Right, hopefully we can go get Anna after this. Come on, sir. There we go. Right, that'll do. That'll do, Donke. That'll do. Got some more bullets. Oh, you fucking did. Fuck off. You know, there's a lot of explosives around here, considering. Considering um, that you don't seem to really need them. Like, are we going to get chased later on? Pistol ammo. Nice. Where the fuck? Fuck off you. Just get fucked. Wow, those things hurt. 
Those things really hurt. Noted. There's another wheel. It looks like this will do the job. For the fish hold door. But haven't we already done that? Am I being thick? It's unlocked. I think I'm being thick. Haven't we already done the fish hold door? Okay. Let's get some more AK ammo because the game just likes to fucking rattle it all off into nowhere. I don't know what that is about, guys. Like, it only happens with the AK. It's like the button gets stuck and he just fires it all off. But the button's not getting stuck because there's nothing wrong with my mouse or my keyboard. harvest some of this ammo back up so I mean I don't really feel like we accomplished anything in there well I guess we got the will for the fish room that I yes we needed uh, rear deck yeah we need to go back to the rear deck we need to go find Anna. Okay. God, this game's fucking bizarre, man. Really strange. You know, probably the best way to play this might actually be a PlayStation 2 emulator. Because that would solve an awful lot of the jank that you get. I, I mean, I guess so. I don't know... The biggest trouble I'm having with it is the weird issue with the AK. Like, you have to be so careful with it because the game just locks up and uses every bullet you have, pretty much. And there's no way of stopping it either. Because it doesn't matter how. Oh, wait, hang on. I don't think we can go back here. Yeah, there's no way of stopping the gun when it's malfunctioning. We definitely can't go back through there. Damn things stuck. Yeah. Damn things locked from the other side. Really? Right. So how do we get back? Uh yeah, that must be why then. Okay, let's wait for the next load of waves. Wait for it. Wait for it. Run. Run. Ow, that hurt. But we're okay. I think there's actually like two separate waves there. I think that's what's going on. Okay, cool. Alright. So... How do we get back there then? I guess, I guess it's through the engine room, right? I mean, it has to be because that's the only door that's open to us. So somewhere through the engine room, there has to be another way that leads right back around. I can't be crazy. I mean, I am crazy. We're all a little bit crazy. Uh, right, so... Was it down here that we didn't fully explore? I really could use a med kit. Ah. That's... That's the propeller shaft room. That's where we got our... new toy. There's so many, like, valves and things to shoot, but there really ain't many uh, enemies to use them on. Unless later on, there's just... I'm fully loaded with this ammo. Wait. So we can only hold four? Four shots of that shit? Alright. Starboard cold rooms. Now... He did say that we're going the wrong way, but... We are 
kind of out of rooms. Right, this gun definitely per bullet does less damage than the AK. Uh, does less damage than the pistol. Which is interesting. Because this AK is a 7.62, so... I'm guessing the pistol is a fairly feeble weapon. Right, let's detach as many heads as we can. Oof. These guys are ghibli. Yeah, I don't trust these guys. Right, so we can interact with that. That's the cold room three. Right, that's the fish hold. Got ya. Okay. Now, interestingly enough, there's only been one armory. Oh, we can go in here. Ah, these look like... Pods. Uh, cods? Pods. Right, so we got another one of soups. Um, journals. The cartel is growing impatient. The results promised by Cam Sky's early reports are, lo are a long time coming. And yet, we have installed a new, fully equipped laboratory facilities. In addition, scientists have been convinced to participate in the research. Cam is becoming less cooperative. I get the impression he's holding, he's hiding something from us. But I'm not sure he would have mentioned any major breakthroughs. Oh, but I'm sure he would have. No, it must be something more personal. When we carried our initial experiments on monkeys, dogs, then whales, despite the dangers and the loss of some of, uh, anti, oh yeah, yeah. So, the anti guy, uh, his mercenaries, I sense Kamsky's enthusiasm through his lively discussion with Baklava. Then we started on humans, of which the cartel seemed to have in to have an exhaustible supply. The first forced contamination was the toughest for Kamsky. After that, he gradually got used to it, and it would even surprise him at night observing the exocells. Or exocells. In any case, the cartel has no uh, scruples about this. Their investments runs into the tens of millions of dollars. Um, Baklava's prototypes alone come in at $150,000 a piece. And so when uh, Anishenko told me what he had discovered by pirating Kamsky's laptop, by pirating Kamsky's laptop, I could have killed him. That's why I've taken Anna aside. She's the last ace up my sleeve, and I will kill her without the slightest hesitation. Right, so he's hiding stuff. And the cartel's growing impatient because they're spending God knows how much cash. We're getting loads of ammo for that gun that we can't make use of. So where does Anna fit into all of this then? Yeah, stuck. we know it's stuck. All right, Tom, chill out. Chill out, Tom. That's going to lead through to Cold Room 3. Oh, wait, actually, is it? Yeah, they're both Cold Room 3. Ah, oh, man. That's Cold Room 4. Oof. These pods are still sealed. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Nothing in there, okay, I think we're clear. Uh, we've got another med kit, we'll have it, I suppose. More bullets. Another med kit there. Oh, they really are quite generous with her. You know, I wonder how hard this game actually would be on, uh, you know, hard. I don't know if it would be that tough. To be honest, there's too much water pressure. I can't. This game's very generous with what it gives you. Hmm. 
So yeah, that's cold room three. So both of those doors lead to the same room. All right, let's go back through the fish, uh, fish processing room then. It's unlocked. Only got three shotgun shells. Oh, hey friend. Yeah, the shotgun's really not very satisfying at all. And I didn't actually just want to skip straight through there, but sure. All right, come on, buddy. Oh, ah, oh, shit. That's now blown. Fuck. I guess we have to wait for our moment then. Wait for it to... Shit. There we go. There it goes. There it goes. Run! No, no. Run the right way. If I get electrocuted here, I'm going to be pissed. Due to the fucking controls. There we go. Alright, you actually have a good amount of time to do that, to be fair. Okay, you're fucked. But, because of where you've died. You made that very awkward for me to get up. Alright, let's get some ammo. Always time for a stop off in the armor. Ah, uh, right, okay. Now let's see, does this restore everything? Hmm. Seems to last a decent amount of time, I suppose. Yeah, so, okay, this does actually restore everything. The shotgun is really underwhelming, man. Really underwhelming. Right, is there a guy around there? No. Right, let's go see Anna, I guess. I spit on you, you super. Let me go. It's unlocked. Yes, let's save. Now, guys, this is going to be really frustrating for maybe you guys and myself because. I don't have time to continue this. Um, not now. Ah, we'll see what happens when we see Anna. Uh, yeah, because I've got to go pick up the missus. So let's just do this. Anna? Who are you? What are you doing here? My name is Tom Hansen. I'm a friend. Why should I believe you? Because I'm here and you're not dead. Ha, funny. Where is Dimitri? Yusupov's dead. Good. The pastor deserved it. So can you tell me what the hell is going on here? He said you had some answers. He lied. I don't have answers. Then who does? Papa does. We can radio him. He will know what to do. <laughs> well, okay. Let's go get Papa. I think you and I are linked, Hansen. We will both make it through this, or neither of us will. I vote for both. I don't think you have a choice. Uh, okay. Does she have health? Can she die? There is ammo on the floor, which seems very redundant because we've just, you know, um, gone past the uh, armory. All right, let's just read this. I don't want to stop playing this. As much as I have a lot of gripes this game and it's janky as fuck, it is fun. My dearest Anna, I have tried many times to write this letter, but always I have failed. I want to tell you how sorry I am for the way in which my work has affected your life. Since your mother died, I have put you through hell, endless moving, harsh to tutors, uh, remote boarding schools. However, you know how much my work means to me, especially since our arrival on the start of Sac Sacaline. Sacaline. Yeah, I don't know. I realize I have never given you a normal childhood, but trust me, I'll give you an extraordinary life. Love you very much, Papa. Uh, is he, like, gonna infect her with stuff? I have no idea. Oh! Anna! <laughs> right. So we can kill Anna. Note to self. Don't kill Anna. But we can kill Anna. Which also means... We can... Oh, I guess she can get killed by the enemies, too. Uh, 
She does not appear to have a lot of health either. She's also very quick to trust us. So, on the next exciting episode of Cold Fear, I guess we're going to escort Anna to the radio room, I suppose? So, till then guys, thanks for watching. <laughs>